played a huge role in the world title showdown as a wild card when she took out Sally Fitzgibbons. Fitzgibbons in this heat taking on the young rookie Caroline Marks. As Caroline has moved on for good reason from the Pro Juniors. You can see that hassle to start is a huge one. Fitzgibbons sets up that big first turn. Gets the completion out of the way. But what was happening out the back, Rosie, just to establish position on that last win? I saw her take a huge win in Fiji with a burst eardrum. This is the first ride from Sally. 3.73 for that one turn option. And Caroline on her backhand. Just so compact, the style of Caroline. Going to her backhand. Also finding some connection through this inside section. So this right seems like it's kind of cleaning up and it's definitely becoming an option. Sally and Caroline, they were communicating before paddling for that wave. Now watching Fitzgibbons check out the left. Two clean turns. And there's that stylish finish that she throws out when she's feeling it. 3.73 was her opener. To show everyone how much I want this. And it just showed us that she's fearless, ready to take off in front of that big rock and that slab. That was pretty crazy to watch. So comfortable in, in heavy water. There was... And still the youngest on tour. Likes to look at this right. Marks, first turn, nice and clean. Jams it off the lip. Winds up for a third hack. Nice wave selection for Caroline Marks and completing it all the way down the stretch. Already had the 6.0 on that last re-entry. We've got Sally Fitzgibbons up the bottom and connecting on the end section. So clean, easy comparisons for the judges back to back. They're just deciding which backhand closeout maneuver was better. What do you think, Rosie? So we're gonna see a big switch here, passing the 17 minute mark. Here comes Sally Fitzgibbons. A former champ out here looking to ramp up. Getting a little caught on the top of that section, which is uh, reminds us, Rosie, of a session at Karamas earlier this year. The contest was over, and we ran into Sally. Um, she's amazing. She's inspiring a lot of people back home in Australia. There's the flow through the first turn for Bronte, losing it on the second bottom turn. And Bronte just moved to second with Caroline Marks. Multiple turns on that inside right, got a 5-3-3, enough for the lead now. So really impressive watching her work her way through this seat. Caroline on another opportunity and going for broke on the finish. She loved the way that end section felt. And she even had to glance the other way to make sure she had right away on that right. Let's see this, uses her priority on her backhand. Watch how she winds up for this turn. Stays up and over that board too. Just make sure she gets it back underneath herself as she rides it out. We see Sally, let's get a look at the technical aspect of what she's doing. So throws that board up and out over that wave, but beautiful kick of the tail there too to bring it back. I, I think that is so rad. Every wave has purpose and such a solid Thing to say when it comes to competitive surfing. 6.4 was Caroline's last, improving immediately on her lead out front. Bronte trying to get it back, but now needs a 7.4. She'll step off. Priority with Sally Fitzgibbons now needing a 7.73. With now 10.40 to go, rolling in. Here's Bronte McCauley up and out. And we hear from the other the other surfers and the QS 10,000, everywhere you go, they say, I've been working on this maneuver. I know Huntington Beach. I know that I need to bring a point of difference. As looks like Sally's found a little piece of water to work with. Representing the south coast of New South Wales, loving the beach breaks down in her hometown, and she'll just get a clean little carve off on the inside corner. It's like quiet, waiting, stalking this section nothing too major she gets a lot of speed readies those feet on her board and just hammers it on that section so doesn't ride out of it clean so not going to get the completion thank you so much pete mel a lot of insight on fins and i think some great advice for people just buying a surfboard if they're doesn't feel too comfortable on your first day try to change the fins first before you give it away it can totally change the ride as we watch sally go down the line incomplete just looking for a wave there but she has non-stop action just catching wave after wave it's so hectic it's so stressful well i can stand it because i love watching it but for the competitors my heart just bleeds as we look at a beautiful little turn for sally on a small wave she'll hop out of there such a fan of all sports sometimes she gets in trouble from her dad or support crew for staying up all <laughs> night in a different time zone talking about 
Sally Fitzgibbons and Courtney Conlog at the time. Fitzgibbons just 14 coming over here to compete. And so she's been here so many years. Doesn't have to try to figure out the lineup. So solid. I mean, Caroline Marks has all this competitive experience now. Even as a rookie, she's coming off, you know, back to back to back finals on the qualifying series. So that's another thing. She has solidified her place on, on tour. Luke Egan just watching um, her just run through these events. It's so hard not to back Caroline. She's so positive and just so in tune with what she has to do. Well, we've just run out of time and completed round one here at the Vans U.S. Open to surf and Caroline Marks gets to jump right into round three.